Hello guys, welcome to my gaming channel. This latest RPCS3 video is going to feature some DLC gameplay from Borderlands, which is the game I want to concentrate on today, but it's how to get your DLC working. If you've got DLC working, great. If you if if you like me and it's took you months to understand this, um, and you found there's no tutorials on basically getting all your DLC that you purchased or you know got by whatever other means. Uh, but you can't get it to work within the main games. You know, it says install package successfully. Yeah, you go to your game and um, it basically doesn't show up. So what we do is we open the install folder, okay? But we need to change from grid mode to list mode, right? Now, if you go to view, game categories, make sure all them are checked, right? So what was basically seeing here it's not two copies of borderlands what you're seeing is the game and the game data aka dlc so so once you've imported your dlc you know you've you've installed the package file and found right it says it's successfully installed yet it's not showing in the game this is how you do it right click open the install folder qsr dir dlc right now let's open the folder of the main game. Open install folder. And there we go. USR DIR. Now I've already done it. Basically, you right click and press copy. Right click and press paste, you know? Control C, Control V, whatever. And you'll find that once you've done that, I mean, you can get rid of your this folder because it's already it's all going to be in there so let's go to the main game and let's boot it up this is playing at 4k 60 frames a second with a new um, V blank feature if you've got the hardware you know you can make proper use of it but it still won't run multi-star pacific rift, rift I want it to you know it's always the way with your favorite games you're thinking yes 60 frames a second but that doesn't work properly it just plays the game quicker stupid i'm sure the developers will uh, look into that one hope they do as you see this video but as you're going to see borderlands complete with dlc when it decides to boot up single player existing character see Jacob's Cove, not in the original game. Let's go and shoot some zombies. See? If you've played Borderlands and you've never played the DLC, this is what it looks like. This is one of them. It's a zombie infested uh, little uh, seaside village or whatever it is. What the hell's that? You get attacked by bats and zombies, of course. Now you can see I'm getting 46, 45, but that's because I'm, you know, recording and using a microphone as well. Ned's, what's that say? Bleeding Heart Infirmary. I think you have to make your way down there. Let's uh, sit in this tub. Come on, just pick it all up. Anyway, you just make your way down and uh, proceed with playing the game. A decent sniper rifle. And some grenades. Let's see if we've seen any zombies. So basically, you're seeing DLC working in-game. And if you, you've not been able to do it, I hope that has helped you. You guys out there who love this emulator to get your... DLC working in your game. Why is it? I've only got one. I had one bleed and what's it? That's tight. Die, you turd. These zombies give up the brains. Literally. <laughs> anyway, my next video is going to be more in depth of this, this DLC. I've done there. Uh, been part way through your mission so I just recorded it and uh, you can have a good look at it. Oops, skin. There we go. 
Oh, they keep coming, they keep coming. See, I, back in the day, well, when was it? It's a good few months ago now. I bought a, a PC from Scan Computers, specifically with the RPCS3 PlayStation 3 emulator in mind, because these days you can have great graphics and great PC great games, but it doesn't mean that uh, games from the old times, like the PlayStation 3 era, were were not not good. Games like this was groundbreaking in in its day. And to be able to play at a high frame rate and 4K resolution. Shit. Oh, no ammunition. There we go. We finished it. Oh, there's still his brothers and sisters still at it. But we, um, you know, this is why I love this emulator because a lot of uh, old PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 games like the Halo series were all pretty good. Don't spit at me. Anyway, I'm Pemby66. Thank you for watching. And uh, sorry if you don't like interpolated gameplays and th that kills on two gameplay. I I've got a pretty nasty comment from somebody saying you it's fake this, it's fake that. And I explain all the time how I achieve my results in these games. But this is this is not no messing, no tricks with this one. You can see what you see is what you get with this, this uh, gameplay you're seeing now. Borderlands with all the DLC and uh, this is how I get it working. Thank you for watching.